I think at the International Conference of Malignant Lymphoma, they try to have a debate with the European side and an American side or a North American side, really to kind of stimulate some discussion because we know there are variances in treatment patterns and some of that is dictated by resources, some of it's dictated by preferences. Particularly in flake lymphoma, which was the debate on, there probably is not an agreed upon standard of care. And that's reflected by the fact that there are lots of treatments that are effective. And again, there are regional variances in terms of your perception of what's most effective and safest. So for instance, we discussed a case of untreated follicular lymphoma this morning, and the preference in Spain is to proceed with our chop based therapy. In the US, the preference is a bendamustine-based treatment. We discussed the nuances of the gallium study and when do you replace the rituximab with obinutuzumab in frontline follicular lymphoma because the gallium study did show an improvement in progression-free survival if you used obinutuzumab as opposed to rituximab. And again, there's probably less regional differences there. We also discussed the role of maintenance. And again, I think that's where there is still quite a bit of debate. You could use the argument that there's no difference in overall survival, so you don't necessarily have to utilize maintenance therapy. Then you can look at the PRIMA study and say, based off of mostly our CHOP treated patients, if you add in two years of maintenance rituximab, you can get a 10 year PFS. So I think those are all valid points, and regional variances will probably continue to persist until you have studies that suggest there is really one most effective way to treat this disease.